Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another movie review. Now, um, this week I'm going to review a real good movie, but pretty sad at the same time. I'm going to be talking about The Fault in Our Stars, which was, I guess, a um, teen drama film from 2014. And I didn't see this movie until um, late last year or something. I didn't know too much about this. Um, I didn't know anything about the book it was based off of. Um, so, um, like, like, I know for a fact this movie's about a teenager who's, who has cancer, and I have a feeling it was going to be, you know, that kind of depressing. Like, I, I knew, um, what kind of movie I was expecting, and, um, I didn't think I was going to like it that much, and I actually did like it. However, it was kind of depressing for all the different reasons I thought. Um, like, this is basically going to be a spoiler-filled review, um, if you write it in the description. Um, this movie's going to contain some spoilers, mainly at the end, because um, this is the recent film that made me cry loud and hard. And um, I'll get into it in a second. Um, basically, um, this girl played by Shelly Woodley, I guess that's how you pronounce her name, I don't know, um, who was just diagnosed with cancer and has been going to a to a group, um, and then she meets um, Ansel Elgort, Elgort, you know, from Baby Driver and other movies. Um, I think this was one of his first roles. I don't know. I would have never heard of him until Baby Driver, so. And, um, they quickly become friends, and, uh, um, this movie doesn't have, like, much of a big plot. It's just basically the two of them hanging out, and I thought the chemistry between the two of them were, was just, was just spot on. I mean, you really care about those characters, you know, you really find them kind of engaging. And also there's another, um thing they do. They go overseas. Uh, I forgot where to meet the author that um, the girl was a fan of. And um, and uh, the, the, the boyfriend that she's hanging out with um, also had cancer. And like I said, this is a spoiler filled review. And um, not much. Um, like, like I wonder what, you know, teens these days have to, you know, what they think of this movie. Because, um, like, even people said, like, I heard a lot of people say the movie was depressing, and, um, like, it's a nice, charming movie, um, but it was, yeah, it does have some sad moments in it, but the ending is probably, like, the saddest part of the film, and while they were still, while the two main characters were still on their trip, this is where I get to the spoiler part, um, and I got some of the Ansel Elgort's, um, character he plays. Gus tells him the other character, um, Hazel, who's the main the girl in the movie, tells him that his cancer had returned or something, and, you know, he's trying to spend his last days together with her and stuff. And then, um, like, the last 20 minutes or so was probably the most depressing part. Anyone who seen the movie or read the book would know what I'm talking about, but for those of you who don't, you're warned. Like I said, spoiler-filled review. Um, he, in fact, dies, and, um, the way, the way the girl found out was, like, she narrates throughout the whole thing, and, um, like, like, the, you know, the parents don't come and inform her or anything like that. It's happened late at night, she's in bed trying to sleep, and then she overheard her parents, and, like, um, she narrates what happened to Gus, and, um, and then she breaks down crying, they don't let the parents come and explain to her what happened. She just sensed it, and, uh, I don't think another movie's done something like that before. I don't know, but still, I, that was the moment where I lost it, and at the funeral, um, it, I, I was, I was in a complete wreck. I mean, I was, like, crying my eyes out, like, loud and hard, and literally, this movie literally emotionally drained me the rest of the day when I first watched it. I haven't cried so bad in a movie since Marley Me. Um, with Marley Me, like, at the time, I didn't know it was based off a book. I didn't know anything about it. And I just, again, spoiler alert, if you have not seen Marley and Me, everyone knows at the end the dog dies, but I didn't see that coming. But, um, with this one, it's kind of weird. Um, I said a long time ago that Marley and Me was a good movie, but I would never watch it again because of that depressing ending. So, why did I bother watching this movie again? Well, <clears throat> I, I, I like the characters, especially Enzo Elgord's character. I mean, they had a great chemistry together, and they were so cute together, and oh my god, you know, it sucks. Unfortunately, some, those kind of things happen in real life, and I was just bawling my eyes out, like, really bad. Like, this is the latest movie to make me cry loud and hard, like, 
I think, like, if I saw this movie when I was a kid, like, if it, like, it came out, like, it's in the mid-2000s, around the same time as Marley like Me, it would have had the huge, same, you know, I would have cried really hard, too. So, I don't know. Um, with that said, if you like movies like this, but, like, this is some really a good, um, teen drama, I would, like, it's not, like, Hunger Games or any other teen drama movies I don't know too much about. Um, this one's, you know, very good one to check out. The acting is great, and um, William Defoe as the author, um, he was pretty good in this as well. Um, but I'm gonna warn you, like, if you really get emotional in movies, like, all the time, like, you, you know, these kind of things make you cry, just a warning. Like, I would recommend it, but it's kind of depressing, mainly in the last 20 minutes. And um, I watched this movie again, didn't have much of a bad um, cry like last time. You know, the first few is it's very powerful. I was still, I was like sobbing a bit, but not in tears, but when I, on the first viewing, it was rough. It was really rough. I wouldn't stop crying. It just emotionally drained me that day. So, yeah, it is kind of depressing. I can understand it's not really your thing, but I still recommend The Fall in Our Stars. So, um, that's my review of the film. Um, if you have seen that movie, let me know what you think of it, and let me know what you think of this review. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. And God bless. Adios.